Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 25th of 2020. Well, it is titled Eclipse Street, Hong Kong. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image or a set of images together of the eclipse that occurred just a few days ago on June the 21st. Now this was an example of an annular solar eclipse, which means that the moon was at its furthest distance and did not appear large enough in the sky to be able to fully block out the sun. So we can get number of different types of eclipses annular is one eclipse. We can also get a total solar eclipse which occurs when the moon is a little bit closer and is therefore able to fully block out the sun bringing nighttime during the middle of the day. And we can get a partial eclipse where the moon does not completely block out the sun not because of its size but because of its positioning. Now, while this eclipse was annular from the location here in Hong Kong, it was seen as a partial eclipse. And you can see the various images here taken as the sun was setting. So you can see the full sun up towards the top. And then as you work your way down, you can see a little bite being taken out of the sun. So a small bite being taken out first of the lower portion and growing in strength. So you get down towards the center of the image where we reach maximum eclipse. At this point, about 90% of the sun was covered by the moon. And then you can see that the moon continued to move upward relative to the sun. And therefore, the sun is now coming back into view. And as the uh, sun continues to set there, we can see as we get down towards the end, as it disappears into the buildings, the sun becomes its full round disk again. So the whole thing can take a couple of hours from the sun from the very first contact when you have the first part of a partial eclipse to the ending when you have the very last portion. And of course, it is that middle section where most of the sun is blocked out, which is always the most interesting. And that is part of what we can see here. Now this happened to line up because this was also interesting that this eclipse occurred on the summer solstice. And that means that it occurred when the sun was at its highest point in the sky for those in the northern hemisphere, and that it rose furthest uh, to the north of east and then set furthest to the north of west. So it created a very long track across the sky that day. And we're seeing just a portion of that track here. And it just so happens that this street running uh, north towards pointing towards the northwest, therefore allowed us to see the image very well in the image to the images of the sun to kind of set right down along that street. So you can see it following down there until it finally curves off at the very end down there and off away from the street into the buildings. So if you miss this one, there will be another total solar eclipse in December of this year, which will be visible in South America. For those of us in much of North America, uh, there will be an eclipse in June of 2021, which will be annular, uh, visible only in the far northern regions up at Canada and the very northerly regions. Uh, further, uh, further south, we will see eclipses in 2023 in October and 2024 in April. There will be nice eclipses, an annular eclipse in October of 2023, and a total solar eclipse in 2024 that will include uh, parts of the United States as well as parts of South America on some of them. So if you've missed this eclipse, there are a few more coming up over the coming years. So that was our picture of the day for June the 25th of 2020. It was titled Eclipse Street, Hong Kong. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Eclipse at your feet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.